of the most important stories today. Our breaking news story actually is out. People in the Urals in Russia have seen burning objects raining down from the sky after a meteorite exploded above the Earth, causing a meteor shower. And uh, Aussie's Irina Galushko has more for us now. Irina, so eyewitnesses also say that they saw a huge white fireball as well, and they saw some sort of a mushroom cloud there and heard a huge bang. So what, what, what eyewitness reports have basically, you heard? Basically, people are saying that this was very much uh, like the War of the Worlds coming, actually coming to reality and reliving it. Armageddon, War of the Worlds, you name it. Basically, uh, this is just uh, the rundown of events that happened around 9 o'clock in the morning, local time in Chelyabinsk. Uh, people were on their way to work, to school, whatever, when all of a sudden they saw arguably the most amazing, if not the scariest thing that, that they have ever seen. And I think uh, before I say anything further, and you can see it behind me, this is what they saw, let's hear it from the people who are actually there and told us about it, about their experience of, a, of this once-in-a-lifetime event. First there was a lot of uh, flames around and then in a few seconds we heard the blast. Uh, and uh, we had, we saw just the windows blown out together with the frames. I thought that a plane crashed right on our building, on our house. But it was only afterwards that we were told that uh, one of the walls crashed. And it was really horrible. I felt really scared. Well, basically, basically, as we've heard, sorry about some technical difficulties there, but um, we're really getting information by the, every second we're trying to connect to somebody new. But basically what's happened, people obviously, obviously were panic-stricken. There was some something flying through the air. There was uh, tremendous uh, uh, thunder. It was it certainly felt and, and uh, uh, felt and uh, it was uh, appeared to be an explosion and we'll get to what people actually were thinking w was uh, a little bit later we're being told that at least 100 people have actually turned it to uh, medical professionals to be treated for the wounds that they have received from the glass shards which were apparently flying everywhere and you have seen the pictures I mean the buildings that we saw uh, that was actually a school where the windows were blown out um, in the middle, apparently very early in the middle on the school day, um, and at least four children uh, have sustained some injuries from there. Uh, but uh, we also know actually that uh, children uh, are being told to stay at home, nobody is going to school or uh, to kindergartens. Uh, other than that, the Minister of Emergencies is saying that they're keeping uh, keeping everything under tabs. Uh, they have put uh, 20,000 personnel on high alert just to be ready, just in case something else happens. But this isn't asteroids. This isn't anything out of a... Well, it is an extraordinary event. I shouldn't be saying anything Absolutely. other so than that. What else do they say regarding mobile phone communications and, and uh, radiation levels at the moment? In this well, well, just when this happened, and again, you can see the pictures right there, it really does look amazing. But when it all happened obviously people started calling each other to make sure that everybody was okay and trying to figure out what exactly happened what was that flash of light and uh, the cell phones were down there was absolutely no cellular connection it is picking up now it is a little bit better but it's uh, there is still kind of suffering in some places and, and in others and what you can see behind me that's the school that I was talking about this is I think this is the gymnasium and the windows are just gone completely and it would be really good if we could uh, get the pictures of the zinc plant that was also in the region you should see the damage that was done there. That was just, this is the school again. But there was, um, yes, this is the zinc plant that I was talking about. And you will see in just a second that there is a humongous hole in the middle of that building. And this is another thing that we should, we should keep in mind is that Chelyabinsk has been a closed region for a very long time. Mm -hmm. During the Soviet era, it was essentially the center of the nuclear research. And it was, it was a kind of a, you know, top secret facilities are all over the place there. And there's, there is a one nuclear storage facility called Mayak. And a lot of people are now saying that this is really in the best graces that none of the asteroids, and there were at least uh, five, uh, um, uh, five fragments of the asteroid that it's really fortunate that none of the asteroids have actually landed into that facility because that obviously would have been we would be talking about nuclear disaster there but uh, again the Minister of Emergen emergencies is, is saying that all nuclear facilities in the region are working uh, 
uh, top notch, nothing out of the extraordinary happening Absolutely. there. Absolutely, yeah, a pretty dramatic start of the day for, Absolutely. for people in Chelyabinsk and all of us actually here. So, what about that uh, asteroid that I? W are expected to be to be here later on not actually here hopefully but well, 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 it's, it's supposed to go past the earth well it's kind of hard to say i mean the asteroids don't exactly follow the schedule it, it is supposed to be here around uh, you know 1925 gmt tonight mm -hmm. but who knows maybe it decided to make an early appearance it's not like they're actually keeping tabs with <laughs> with the, the uh, scientists uh, back here on earth so people are saying that this actually could be a part of it kind of a, you know sort, sort of a teaser of what's what's to come but hopefully uh, uh, this is uh, as, as, as bad as it's going to get because you really don't want to see the, the entire thing flying towards Earth and landing somewhere yeah, in Siberia, <laughs> which yeah. asteroids actually have a tendency to do, it seems oh, like. Right. <laughs> scary stuff, Irina. It's scary and fascinating. It's not every day that you see these absolutely amazing pictures. I think in, in, in a way we could say we're lucky to have seen this. I mean, remember the Tunguska event? That was back in 1908. Obviously, none of us were alive there, but that is something that's still puzzling scientists to this day. So maybe this is another one of those things. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing your optimism with us. Okay, oh, yeah. my pleasure.